just going to show a quick video of how to remove the speed limiter off a 2008 Mitsubishi Outlander 4 work model. This one was previously owned by Anglian Water um, and I believe other vehicles that were owned by them also have the limiters. So as you can see steering wheel and if you remove the coin holder from here just under the steering wheel um, excuse this, I've had most of this out already so you can sort of see where, where everything is but this is the box I'm looking for in my case it's called, it's made by Romatic and it's called a drive-by wire system and it works by interfacing with the CAN bus it reads the vehicle speed over CAN bus and it modifies the accelerator um, signal to keep it within the set speed limit in my case, I did have a look and see if we could play around with it to adjust the limit, but I didn't have any luck with that. Um, so yeah, here's inside the box. The, the little black box in there is like the interface to the CAN bus that reads and modifies the signals. And that's the control board, which is programmed to limit the speed. Um, so this was, this was basically screwed shut like that, and it had security screws with a like a, a wire seal on them previously which I've cut off and undone the screws so um, yeah it is sort of meant to be tamper proof to some degree in my case it was just as simple as unplugging this wire from that black interface box so you'll see in the bottom there that little socket there so really simple to remove and originally this black box was way up behind there somewhere. Um, this van's had a lot of wiring done on it in the past. Um, and it was stuck to, um, I don't know if you can see this, this metal beam here, it was, it was glued onto, the, onto there. Um, can't really see it, but that, yeah, that's where it previously was. So it's, it's not too well hidden. Um, and as I say, it's super simple to remove. You can either pull the fuse out there on the board, or you can unplug the wire there. Um, I wouldn't recommend cutting the cables, um, because there is live 12 volt power there, so you will blow a circuit if you cut that with metal cutters. Um, so in my case, I just pulled out the interface link, and yeah, that's, that's it. We don't have to do anything more with that now. I've left it in there in case I ever want to limit the speed in the future for any reason, but yeah, that's, that's about all there is. That's all I, all I know of on these models.